You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mmm, smells, smells like, like freedom. freedom. And tastes like liberty. It does. <laughs> And looks like coffee. <laughs> Amazingly enough, I, I love that stuff. I got it is good. My own private stash at home now. I know. I saw you. I saw you taking off with it on Saturday. Yeah, I ran it right out to my car. Man, it looked like uh, looked like a running back. <laughs> kind of what it looked like. Uh, Lenny Kravitz is fifty-seven today. Nice, dressing like Lenny's. He was married to Lisa Bonet, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, I do remember that. And now she's married to Aquaman. It's, yeah, it's, it's a weird oh, wow. world, isn't so it? So he yeah. was almost married to Aquaman, is what you're saying? <laughs> I didn't say that. He's one a step bit. removed. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, John Wayne, born this day. Love the Morrison. Duke. Marion Robert Morrison. Nice from Winterset, Iowa. Yeah. In case you didn't know, they got a sign there and everything. They should have. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Nix, who's 73 today. We we call her Stevie. Stevie. Oh, yeah. Stevie. It's uh, 1896. Oh, my, how times have changed this very day. The Dow Jones Index begins okay. with about a dozen industrial stocks. Uh, the day would close on the Dow Jones this day in 1896 at 40.94. Oh, it's a little better than that now, isn't it? Yeah. It's hovering around 34,000 and some change. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he got in way back then and <laughs> just let it ride. Yeah, it really depends. 1927, Henry, the Ford Motor Company, produces the very last and 15 millionth Model T. Oh, wow. Tim Lizzie. <clears throat> yeah. That's why it's interesting if you follow any car shows or whatever, whatever, there'll be Model Ts, and a lot of people think, well, it's got to be worth a fortune. Eh, kind of not even to this day because there were 15 million of them. Yeah, there were a bunch of those. Yeah, You could have any <clears throat> color you want as long as you want black. As long as you wanted it in black. I think uh, one of the best quotes from, from Henry Ford was, if I would have asked the public what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, absolutely. True story. And 1977, George Willig. Remember good old George? I Pro- don't know. Probably no. not. Well, uh, George... <clears throat> Saddled up, climbs the entire South Tower of the New York City World Trade Center. Oh, wow. Oh. Quite the feat. Yeah, Was yeah. Was he supposed to do that, or uh, he just did it? No, he got arrested with before the judge. <laughs> okay. And I have to think the judge was thinking, you know what? You shouldn't have done that, but holy cow, that, <laughs> that was pretty cool. So here oh. was the punishment. He was fined, George was fined by this judge, one Sent for each of the 110 stories that he climbed. Oh, wow. Oh, so a buck cool, ten. Wow. Again, the judge had to be going, I got to do something here. But, right. but holy cow, on the other hand. Right. <laughs> there was a movie about a guy that did That's a awesome. tightrope walk from one side to the other of the tower. Oh, who hasn't Based done that, on a true story. Yeah. yeah. I could mail that in. <laughs> <clears throat> sure you could. <laughs> well, here you go. Now, I know you know, we all know, and we can just stumble forward here. We're going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mmm. Smells, smells like, like freedom. freedom. Are you ready to travel again? Join us for the best week of your life. The Sands is an immersive Gen X era experience for five sun-filled and fun-filled days at Dreams and Secrets, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. Enjoy music from Billy Idol, Cheap Trick, Little River Band, The Hooters, Tesla, Wang Chung, Firehouse, Honeymoon Suite, CNC Music Factory, The Jets, and more. Make plans to join us for The Sands. October 25th through 30th. Learn more now at RadioTravelGroup.com. That's RadioTravelGroup.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. And it is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. What do you find interesting today, good sir? I find it interesting when anymore you can stumble over a story where you just go, oh man, gosh darn it, that's just refreshing. Oh, That's really nice. This happened recently in Massachusetts, Kazoontai. A woman bought a scratch ticket. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, and she bought a scratch ticket, you know, the old lottery thing, and she works in the neighborhood, and apparently she goes to this convenience store quite often. 
Massachusetts. She was trying her luck at, at, her luck at uh, what's known as a $30 Diamond Millions scratch-off game. Oh, wow. She was right there at the counter, bought the ticket. After scratching it quickly, checking all the boxes, uh, she just gave up, had to get back to work, and, and she threw it away because it was not a win. Oh. According to this woman, quote, I was in a hurry. I was on my lunch break. I just scratched it real quick, looked at it. Didn't look like a winner. So uh, I just handed it to the clerk, said, yeah, toss it, and uh, went on her merry way. Well, that ticket stayed inside the trash for a while. It was discovered by a Mr. Shaw, who happens to be the son of the store's owner. He was taking out the trash. Notice on top of the one of the boxes of of trash was, was a scratch ticket. And it looked like it hadn't been finished being scratched off. Oh, no. So he scratched the additional number. Turns out it was a million dollar winner. Holy cow. She threw a million dollars away. The store personnel did a little investigation, figured out it was this woman who they really, really like, and actually called her, had her wow, come into the store, huge is that? presented her with the ticket, going, this this was yours. They, they gave it to her. They gave Holy it back to her. Holy cow. That is amazing. <clears throat> About a week and a half after the fact. No kidding. Yup. Isn't that something? Uh, the store received ten thousand dollars from the lottery for having the winning ticket there, but right. still, they easily could have. They had could have just, yeah, yeah. So just out of this, is that the is right amazing. Thing to do. I sure hope story. she gave them one heck of a reward for that. Yeah, that is really, really cool. I just thought, okay, how often does that happen? Not often, because it's the only often. story I've clocked. Every in time so I've thrown away my million dollar ticket, nobody's even called me. That is so cool. Yep. <clears throat> in fact, uh, they called her at the office, and she said, uh, look, I'm, I'm working right now. They said, no, 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 you don't understand. You have to come over. So she uh, walked over to the store, and that's when they told her. She said, I was in total disbelief. I broke down crying, hugged every one of them, and blah, blah, blah. So I just thought, I wow. found that interesting. That is so crazy. You know what? I think there's a whole lot of this kind of thing going on. You just never hear about right. it. Right. Because everything's supposed to be dark and turmoil and conflict and just nasty. So there you go. Good on everybody involved in that. Absolutely. That is so cool. I'm just saying I would have kept it. <laughs> you know what? I would have talked her into doing the right thing, Dan. You know what? Oh, you two kids. <laughs> All right, it's the. Joe I would have done Heidi a show. GoFundMe for you, though, Dan. Oh yeah, she sure would have. I would have. <laughs> I would have put a nice chunk of change in your GoFundMe. I don't want a GoFundMe page. I, w- I think I want to throw my own fundraiser like party. Okay. Oh yeah. Black tie affair. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, nice. That'd be super Black cool. Black ties, no pants, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm missing out here, but I don't, what are we doing a fundraiser for again? You were gone, man. I had a little gone. conversation. We got a plan. Don't worry about yeah, it. We'll take care of everything. Leave the studio and leave you two <laughs> ever again. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, and this is Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Addiction. It's a problem for many, and addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. I was there yesterday. I had the iced tea. It was good. I was there yesterday, too. Yesterday right. afternoon. When were you there? I was there in the morning. I was there in the Maybe afternoon. <laughs> right. So I look, you looked familiar. Oh, wait. You weren't there. Never no. Mind. Well, what, what do you have for us today, Dan? You got something uh, good? But apparently, boy, people just love putting lists of best ofs together. They do. <clears throat> From the best things in South Dakota, should we talk bars? Okay. okay. The top 10 bars in the state of South Dakota. Right. And I may or may not have a problem with some of these. Oh, yeah. I no, guess we we'll find out. Let's do that. And then we're going to do a top 10 <clears throat> list of top 10 lists. Perhaps you're familiar with some of these, some of these, and uh, perhaps you're not. Let's start with number 10, the Splash J Saloon in Piedmont. Never been okay. there to Piedmont. Yeah, it's in Piedmont, John. Never been to Piedmont. Never been to Piedmont. We should make road a road trip. trip to Piedmont. In beautiful Leed, South Dakota. Number nine, Dakota Shivers Brewing Company. Huh. Could be Shivers. I'm saying Shivers. Okay. Never been there either. Out of is it Rockford? 
R O C H Ford. Okay. At number A, the Moonshine Gulch Saloon. These are the best bars in the state. Apparently, you really need to get out more. Huh. Holy cow! And uh, this one's nationally famous, of course, and it should be in the top ten. At number seven, the Full Throttle Saloon out oh, of Sturgis. I can see that. That made the list for sure. Number six, Sick and Twisted Brewing in Hill City. Who did this list? I've West never Minnesota been to any West of these. River. We're getting closer. Hang oh, on. Okay. <clears throat> number five. The place has been there forever and ever and ever and ever. The Ice House in Yankton. Oh, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool place. Me too. At number four, Monk's Ale House. Oh, in Sioux Falls. Yes. Really? Yeah. Which is under the best new bar? Ownership. And see, this is where I have a problem. They're saying best bar, but some of these That's are... That's an ale house. Some of these are just... We used to call them beer joints. A pub. Right. Yeah, it's a pub. Now they're craft beers, so it's, I mean, yeah, there's bars in there, but is that a bar really if yeah. there's a full-blown liquor license? Yeah, I don't know. And but some they made kind list, of man. stolen jewelry thing okay. going on in the alley. Is that what's going on there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I didn't it's how rumors that. start, John. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. And here's another one. <clears throat> Sioux Falls, the Hydra Beer Company. Well, now it's the Lupulin Brewing Company in Sioux Falls. So they, they had it listed, though, as Hydra? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what it started out as. Yeah. And uh, back to West River, Rapid City, the Blind Lion. Okay. And in Rapid City, Independent Ale House. Okay. See, at least almost half of these are is just that the number one independent? craft beer joints. Apparently, the number one bar in the state is an ale house in Rapid City. So, huh. I don't know. I guess it depends I'll on how you, you look at it. A cool place that we went in Rapid City is called the Firehouse, I think is what it's called. they got fire trucks on the interstate all the way out there, and you... You see it, and it keeps telling you to stop at the firehouse. And we went there. It was really good. It depends on what you want in a bar. I mean, there's different yeah. factions of it. Yeah. You know, craft cocktailing is now a big deal. It is. Yeah. Basically, you just rename a glass of booze and charge $15 more for Pretty it. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Here's your little umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for playing. Yeah. Well, we clearly need to get out more often because we've not been to most of those. There were just two in Sioux Falls, though? Uh, it looks that Yeah, I think there was just way. two. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, number... Uh, Sioux Falls needs to step up their game. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, number three and number uh, four, Hydra and Monks, yeah. There you go. So there you go. And they're, and they're both, they're really both just little beer, brewery beer craft places, yeah, yeah, so is that really a bar? I guess that's yeah. my question. I, so, I don't think so. Who made the list? Is this like a beer thing from mm, a beer pouring? It literally says top ten Bars. Bars. Huh. All right. Well, now we know. Dan, thank you for coming in, man. Sure thing. I'm you gonna come back I tomorrow. Spark some controversy. <laughs> you promise you'll be back tomorrow. <clears throat> promise. All right. Pro- no. You promised. No, that's more of a question. <laughs> no, that was a statement. He promised. <laughs> you know me and that whole commitment thing, John. <laughs> it's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by SueEmpireJobs.com. If you're looking for special prices on some pretty amazing products, check out the website radiosavings.com. We're adding new items all the time, so you might find something cool. And you can save money when you buy stuff at radiosavings.com. One other thing many people like, many of the products you'll find at radiosavings.com are made in the USA. Good quality items at great prices. Radiosavings.com. We can save you more. Radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for Back to the Basics in Healthcare from Balance Life Chiropractic, and I have Dr. Harley with me. How you doing, Dr. Harley? I'm doing great, if not a little sunburned, but yeah. who isn't after a weekend being outside, right? Absolutely, <laughs> and we had some wonderful weather, and there's going to be more wonderful weather, and this is the time of year a lot of people do get outside, and one of the things that several people like to do is plant gardens, but all that bending over and pulling weeds and you know harvesting all other stuff, that can also kind of wreak havoc on some bodies too, can it? Yeah, so I wanted to talk about gardening today as, yeah, that's what a lot of people are doing. I know my uh, assistants in my office are talking about their gardens that they're getting done, my parents, my husband's parents, everyone's doing a garden, right? You know, it's easy to do that and it's easy to overdo it too because you have to get the ground ready, put the plants in and then, you know, take care of them, maintain them, right? Otherwise you get all these weeds. And I think that the, the gardens just need to be higher, that's all. Instead of us getting down in the dirt, just bring them up to us, right? <laughs> yeah, some people do have uh, elevated flower beds or small vegetable patches, but you can't really do, you know, a 20 by 20 garden up that high. So a lot of people that have these big gardens are easily overdoing it because they have so much work going on. I mean, 
biggest things that I always tell people is make sure you're using the right uh, tools that you have, um, you know, your rakes and hoes and shovels that are length appropriate. Like you're not having to bend over because it's like a kid size one or it's really old and you're having to work even harder. So it's having something that has really good grips too. Mm -hmm. So you're not overexerting trying to move dirt and all of that. So if you have the right tools, that'll help make it so you're not exerting quite as much energy. And you're not bending over as much. And then the biggest thing is like, if you do feel like you're having to bend over, then you should just be kneeling at that point to help, you know, save your back. Now you're like, well, I have bad knees. There are some uh, stools out there or like uh, knee pads that you can, or like a pad that you can kneel on that I know are really great. I know, I think my husband's parents just got some that have like a little rail system on the side. So they help you. Um, get up too. So if you're on your knees, you can use your arms to help you versus just putting all that force in your knees, especially if you've had knee surgeries or anything like that done. Very, very nice. And if, if somebody listening maybe has already done their garden and they're going, Ooh, I'm really feeling it. Uh, chiropractic can kind of help them get back to, back to better or back to normal, even better, can it? Yeah. So, I mean, if they're, you know, a lot of back strains or, you know, too, too much twisting or their arms, shoulders are really sore, yeah, chiropractic's a great way to help with that, get them back into proper alignment and keep the stress and strain from getting worse on their joints and even their muscles. And what is the best way for somebody to reach out to Balance Life Chiropractic and, and chat with you guys if, if they have uh, gardening issues or other issues that they're feeling today? Well, I don't know if we can help them with like their garden problems, <laughs> but uh, yeah, their health and their spine definitely can help with that. So they can shoot us a call at 605-215-1785 or message us on Facebook, Balance Life Chiropractic. And you also have a website. Yes, we do have a website. Uh, it is uh, balancelifesd.com. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. It's always great talking to you. It is a lot of fun. It's Balanced Life Chiropractic, and we have a little program every Wednesday called Back to the Basics in Healthcare. Again, you can learn more about them and find them online at balancedlifesd.com. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now. But we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website BetterCreditCards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner, brought to you by Reaper Arsenal. Well, I'm ruggedly handsome. I'm a heck of a man. I mess around with nature whenever I can. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love the little critters and the big critters, too. Like to cook them up in a tasty stew. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, it's time for Critter Corner right here on Sunny. If you like the show, then send me some money. He's Ranger Dan. Cash and credit card only. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Well, that went. Whoa, whoa. Hold, you know, uh, hold, you got a sponsor hold, now. Hold the phone here. Reaper what, Arsenal uh, is the sponsor of your show now. Let's, I'm sorry, a Reaper Arsenal is yeah. a. It's in Brandon. Uh huh. Mm, uh huh. Guns and all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> and coffee, which we love. So, uh, congrats. my show has a yeah. sponsor that sells guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Me, I'm going to need a moment. <laughs> He's, He's all emotional. But clamped over there. <laughs> oh, I know the day. I knew the day would come eventually, and and it's here. I gotta tell you what, Ricky. Hello, Heidi. Ranger Dan. <laughs> so when you say sponsor, yeah, there, Rick, that's yeah. somebody who's gonna give money <laughs> to sponsor Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Absolutely, and I'll be able to just get that money. No, from- no, that doesn't go to you. That goes to us. Cover the cost of, you know. I'm a little confused here, Al. Well, just so Ranger Dan's you? Critter Corner has a, <laughs> not just a sponsor, but a sponsor that sells firearms. Yeah, well, just our legal fund for the Ranger Dan show alone. <laughs> it's finally going to get a dent taken out of it here. So it's Reaper, Reaper Arsenal. Yeah. Opera, sponsoring this program. Yes, and yes. And every month or whatever, they're sending a check to. Yeah, to the station. Yeah. Station. And I don't get. You get a thank you, and I'll give you some of their coffee. It's really good coffee. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have today, little Ranger Rangers. Oh, wow. Critter Corner, if there is one, this is Ranger Dan. Well, you'll be hearing from my law firm, kneel down and pray, say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Addiction. It's a problem for many, and addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs 
broken relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Monday's bull market came to a crashing halt on Tuesday. The major indexes tried to make further gains but failed in the face of weaker-than-expected economic data. On the consumer front, consumer confidence remains high, but at 117 fell nearly a full point from the previous month versus the expected gain. On the housing front, not only were new home sales much weaker than expected, the previous month's data was revised lower as well. The reason is rapidly rising home prices that are fueled by not only high demand, but also by rising lumber prices as well. The Case-Shiller Housing Price Index gained more than 13% in April, making the fastest pace of home price growth in about 15 years. If the remainder of this week's data is also disappointing, the market could continue to drift sideways within its near-term range. You can get the inside track in your inbox at marketbeatminute.com.